All right, everybody, it's Thursday, so you know what that means. I'm going to head up to the Goodwill that I haven't been to in probably about a week or two over in Peachtree Corners, which is just further down the road. We're over here right now at Park Ave. Uh, again, they still uh, have sales going on. I think anything with a tag is still 50% off uh, for, like, certain colors. Uh, so who knows? We haven't been here since Monday, I think. So here's Thursday. Maybe they got some new stuff and... Uh, Got to be persistent if you want to get stuff. So let's head on in and see what we can find. All right, well, we're up here at the Goodwill, up here in, uh, I believe this is Peachtree Corners, not Peachtree City, that's down by the airport. Uh, so we're here at the Goodwill. We found a couple of things at that uh, Park Ave Thrift. Uh, I picked up another TiVo. Again, these are great for hard drives, for doing mods and stuff. Uh, it was $5.45, but because it was half off, it was only $2.60 something cents. Uh, and I did. I saw one game that they had in the case, and I paid three ninety three for it. And that's a copy of Turok Two, on the original Game Boy Color. I'm sure it sucks, uh, but again, you don't really come across uh, Game Boy games any much anymore. Uh, and I did pick up what one of those uh, Rayman. I think I picked up on Monday, so they had a couple more in there. Uh, but that was it, really. No video game stuff in the back. No controllers. Nothing. So, I haven't been here in a while, so let's see what we can find. Hopefully, they have the games out, and they're good games, and they're super ultra rare, and I'm going to flip them, make a shit ton of money, invest in timeshares, and then probably fake my own death and live down in the Caymans, uh, open up a margarita stand, right? Yes.
All right, guys, well, we're out of that Goodwill. I'm gonna get some lunch. Uh, I was battling some gyms, playing some Pokemans. And uh, yeah, battling in that is kind of shitty. Uh, but it's still fun, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure they'll I'll do some sort of an update to bring it back to kind of a classic Pokemon where you can pick moves and shit. Because I don't know how to do any of that shit. But anyways, you don't care about Pokemon. You want to see what I got inside that Goodwill. Uh, they kept everything behind the counter again, so I don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, which reminds me, I didn't even look for games. Well, all the games are up front, so whatever. Uh, but I did go through, and I found some stuff in the back. Uh, first off, I found this Quick Shot. It's for the Nintendo. I guess you can switch between one and two players. It's got suction cups. Uh, it was only three ninety three, dollars And, uh, yeah, the... B button seems to be kind of pressed down. This one seems to work fine, the A button. So I'm going to have to see uh, what's up with that. Looks like maybe it maybe just needs a cleaning. So not bad for four bucks. Uh, not really sure about these. Uh, this is the gold finger. Hooks into the back of the original PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 1. And uh, it has like a serial connection. So I'm thinking this is what they kind of used in the beginning to... Uh, have like a cheat device or I think you might actually be able to use it to play pirated games not really sure uh, but for two dollars ninety two cents I'll, I'll take a shot uh, and then also they had a bundle for a model one Genesis seven bucks comes with the RF one controller uh, it's not the high definition graphics one uh, but for seven dollars sure I'll take a shot I got more controllers and AC adapters at home uh, and probably the best thing I found there for seven dollars as I drop it on the floor make it probably worth six dollars uh, seven bucks athletic world on the Nintendo as you can see the front has some like damage to it I don't know what that is it's probably mold uh, but again it was in the box I don't think it comes with the manual but it does have the game so, seven bucks, that's not bad. Uh, I wanna say it's like a $20, $30 game uh, in the box by itself. It's probably six to seven dollars. So that's probably what they priced it at. Fortunately, it's not stadium events. Uh, this is the one that came with the uh, power pad. Uh, I believe if you got it boxed, uh, that's this is what it came with. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. So guys, that's gonna do it for today. If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, I want you to go and eat an entire jalapeno pepper, seeds and all. And then I want you to go find some ghost pepper salsa. Mama Rosa makes a ghost pepper salsa. And I want you to eat about, um, I don't know, a quarter of a cup, no, a fourth of a cup of that salsa, chips and all. And then around 10 o'clock the next morning, you're gonna have like explosive diarrhea. It happens to me every morning. So I want you to do that. But as always guys, keep up the thrift and I'll thrift with you later. So welcome back to another episode and after three months of emails and intense, um, you know, me getting angry at Play Asia, yeah. I finally got my copy of Dead or Alive Extreme what? 3. Finally. Finally. I, they, they're like, no, we sent it off. I'm like, it's not here. They're like, it's at your post office. I'm like, it's not here. I just kept going, they're like, well, we're sending it to our investigation team. I'm like, there's nothing to investigate. investigate. It's, it's not, not here. here. Yeah. It was ridiculous. So 